Anybody got any good smoothie recipes? We've got an awesome smoothie recipe for you, and it's called... Chunky, Chunky Monkey. Monkey. All right, you guys, we've got a play on the Ben & Jerry's flavored ice cream, Chunky Monkey. And this is a version that Alicia and I came up with that we're calling the Skinny Chunky Monkey because it's awesome if you're looking to burn fat and lose weight. This is a go-to recipe. Check out what Alicia's got for us. That's right, this is a skinny version of Chunky Monkey. So we've definitely got a frozen banana, some cocoa powder, some almond milk, some protein powder, and of course, a scoop of awesome peanut butter. Okay, and like any smoothie, the process is easy. Put it in a blender and go. The key is to always start with the liquids. That way things can really get going in your blender. Now we are using my brand protein powder today, you guys, but if you don't have available to you, you can go ahead and use your favorite protein powder. Also, this is a 100% dairy-free recipe, so if, you're, if you or someone you love that you're making this for is allergic to dairy, this is a perfect recipe. Once you get blending, if things aren't looking the right consistency for you, just add in a couple of ice cubes. A couple of things to take note on this recipe, which makes it max approved, is the fact that all these ingredients have zero added sugar. So you want to make sure when you're looking for the organic peanut butter or whatever uh, nut butter that you're going to be using, almond butter, uh, that it's no added sugar. So it should just be one ingredient, it should just be those roasted peanuts or almonds, whatever you're getting there. And then also we're using frozen bananas, which gives it a great consistency. And instead of using, let's say, yogurt, which is great in smoothies because we're going dairy free, Alicia went ahead and froze some bananas ahead of time. And she's gonna show you how to do that right now. Freezing a banana is super easy and you can use this same process for pretty much any fruit. First with the banana, I peel it, I cut it into eighths, and I put each piece on a parchment lined cookie sheet. I'll put it in the freezer, and once it's frozen, then I'll package it all up together. This way the pieces are frozen individually and they don't all stick together and you don't have like a giant clump of banana. All right, you guys, that's the recipe today. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoy it. Have a great rest of the day. Cheers. Cheers.